Ja, we blijven bij Griekenland. De Europese leiders die stonden vannacht in de rij om de Griekse premier Tsipras de les te lezen. Een keiharde boodschap gisteravond in Brussel voor de Griekse premier. Voor donderdagavond moet er een doortimmend hervormingsplan op tafel liggen... dat uiteindelijk zondag door de Europese leiders moet worden goedgekeurd. En anders is een grexit onvermijdelijk. De sterke realiteit is dat we nog maar vijf dagen hebben om te vinden... The ultimate agreement. Until now, I have avoided talking about deadlines. But tonight I have to say it loud and clear that the final deadline ends this week. Ich berichte Ihnen von einer Ratssitzung, die sehr ernsthaft abgelaufen ist, also von einer Sitzung der Mitglieder der Eurogruppe auf der Ebene der Staats- und Regierungschefs. Und ich berichte Ihnen davon, dass wir uns Sonntag wieder treffen wollen, sowohl in der Zusammensetzung für heute als danach auch in der Zusammensetzung der 28. Und ich glaube, diese Ankündigung als solche spricht dafür, dass die Situation vergleichsweise ernst ist. Die Kommission ist bereit für alles. Wir haben ein Grexit-Szenario, bereit in Detail. Ist ein Akkord ist noch möglich? Ich antworte ja. Maar uh, il faudra qu'il n'y ait non seulement pas de perte de temps, je sais ce que le peuple grec subit en ce moment, faute de liquidité, mais je sais aussi ce qu'est la nécessité des règles européennes. Nous sommes dans un ensemble, c'est pour en respecter les principes et les obligations. Als we zouden zeggen, er kan nu al niet met deze Griekse regering onderhandeld worden, er is op dit moment eigenlijk nauwelijks meer vertrouwen dat dat kan. Maar we blijven openstaan voor het wondertje van de, voor de komende dagen dat ze wel met voorstellen komen. Er zijn geen aanwijzingen voor, maar wie weet. Ja, dat zei premier Rutte. Vanmiddag sprak ik met de Griekse politiek analist Yannis Koutsoumitis in Athene. En ik vroeg hem wat het plan van zijn premier Tsipras nu precies is. Well, uh, Prime Minister Tsipras uh, is, is expected in the next uh, hours in Athens back from his trip to Brussels and the European Parliament. And uh, the Greek uh, new finance minister, Mr. Tsakalotos, together with the uh, negotiator, Mr. Huliarakis, have uh, remained in Brussels to prepare the prior actions that will be submitted tomorrow, uh, just before midnight, to the Eurogroup. So, uh, Mr. Tsipras will try to gather support from the opposition parties, and most of all, the support of his own party, Syriza, and his coalition partners, Anel. So are his policies shifting now? Because we heard that he's going to increase the uh, retirement age, and also he wants to uh, increase taxes. Yes, we have been uh, witnessing a change also in essence and tone by Mr. Tsipras. And uh, as, as Prime Minister of Spain, Mr. Rajoy said today, Mr. Tsipras is, has changed his tune, but we're waiting to see if he is changing his lyrics to the song. Uh, I think now we are in a different position than the one we were two days ago. And there is a general consensus among uh, Greek uh, public opinion and also Greek uh, public uh, parties, political parties, that there is no other way around a compromise agreement with the Eurozone. The other way would be uh, Greece's immediate uh, uh, ousting out of the Eurozone. Do you think that this plan will work and will we have an agreement on Sunday with the European leaders and Mr. Tsipras? Well, uh, I'm, I'm beginning to be hopeful again. Uh, until two days ago, uh, the, it looked really bleak. But now, we, with the change of the, of the finance minister with Mr. Tsakalotos, I think we have a new momentum and we have to be relatively hopeful that something can come out of this new phase. But do you think that the Greek population will accept these tax increases and the uh, increase of retirement age? Well, the, the raise of the retirement age is most sensitive. But on the other hand, I think Mr. Tsipras is, is ready to give the, the early retirement which the creditors and the staff were asking 
and this will not find many much uh, resistance within the the population so i think there will be a, a mixture of uh, uh, pain but also relief because if there is a three-year agreement it will uh, greeks will have a larger landscape in front of them to organize economy again to implement the reforms and to start uh, growing the economy again now if all fails is it true that greece has no exit plan whatsoever if there will be a grexit well uh, i think uh, right now greece has no other options the 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 bank the state coffers are all empty the state organizations are empty they don't have any cash the banks are almost insolvent right now so uh, even if grexit was was to be considered it would take massive support financial support from the eurozone to organize a new currency which which i think it it's not worth it right now we have to push hard right now the greek government to submit serious reform proposals and avert all this drama that uh, has been uh, hanging upon Greece for the last few months. Very clear, Yanis Koutsoumitsis in Athens. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you for having me.